movement occurs along a normal fault, the top part slides down along the bottom part. This offset surface is known as a fault scarp. The intense friction from sliding acts like sandpaper to smooth the contact of the fault until it appears like glass. In the case of the Wasatch Fault, the valley floor is sliding down against the mountain. Measuring the scrape marks on the fault surface, we can determine the maximum amount of movement that happens during each slip event. On the east coast is inevitable here in Utah. We're about a hundred years overdue for our big one. Right now they say the Wasatch Front has a one in four chance for a 7.0 quake in the next 50 years. This map shows the possible devastation causing $37 billion in damage and killing up to 2,900 people. It could be today, it could be uh, tomorrow, it could be uh, 50 years from now. We don't know when, but we do know. was over at Rich High School. We have some video here of some of the pictures that fell off the wall when this earthquake happened. Uh, for, again, fortunately, we're not hearing any signs of any injuries or anything like that. Right now, it's just a matter of cleaning up some of the mess there at the high school. You can see when the earthquake happened, some of the pictures fell off the wall. We interviewed Sheriff Dale Stacy here in Rich County just a few minutes ago, and he says they're really looking for any damage, but right now, they're not seeing a lot. We've made a sweep. We've, we've checked for uh, broken gas lines, uh, none of that. We can't find any problems right now. <laughs> we also went in town here in Randolph to the Gator Cafe. Right now when we were over there, there were some customers eating, but at the time the earthquake hit, there were no customers in the store, only workers. We interviewed one of the women here who says when it hit, she didn't know what to think about it at first. You just felt like you were rocking back and forth, and... Just kind of treaded for 15 seconds about, and then it was over. <laughs> Checked to make sure that everything was okay, and that was about it. <laughs> Now, the earthquake here in Randolph hit about five, six miles northeast of town. That's basically where Scott Mitchell lives in unincorporated Rich County up there. He says he was just inside watching TV with his family when the earthquake hit, and he, too, like so many in town, didn't know what happened at first. Well, we were just watching TV, and it was like a... It starts with Catherine Lowe out in Tooele. Catherine, what's the situation look like out there? Well, John, damage to the road into Tooele is actually preventing us from getting into the city to see what's happened. Damage to State Road 36, that's the main link between Tooele and Salt Lake City, has large cracks in several areas. We've also learned that a bridge into the city of Tooele has completely collapsed. We understand that sections of I-80 are also impassable because of extensive damage from the quake. So at this time, we, we just don't have much information as to what's happened in Tooele. From where we're at right now, it looks like the northern part of the Tooele Valley has been heavily... 